Helium 10 product research tutorial. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can find upwards of $10,000 products on the Helium 10 platform without having to pay for any of their premium versions, just on the free version of Helium 10. So let's get into it. Now, Helium 10 is a very easy tool to use. It is something that a lot of people that are running Amazon businesses are using, and it is a industry all in one. So it allows you to do product research. It allows you to find thousands of different keywords. It also helps you in writing your listings, managing your business effortlessly, analytics, and power decision making with marketing your business with confidence. So Helium 10 not only allows you to make your products and find products that are going to be profitable, but it is the all-in-one platform, so you can do a lot more. So first off, you're just going to click on sign up for free at the top right over here. And once you click over here, you're just going to enter your email and add all of your personal details. Once you do that, you're going to be led to your basic dashboard. Now, this is what your basic dashboard on Helium 10 is going to look like. You might get a bit scared that there are so many different words and there it's like so crap up but don't worry it's a very simple to use platform once you get a hang of it you'll understand what all of these tools are used for so on your top you have your basic dashboard then you have your tools and this is the actual setup that you're going to be taking a look at these are the tools that you're going to be using next up you have your profits you have follow-ups you have atomic portals and freedom tickets so the rest of the stuff that you find on helium 10 is more related to someone that is using helium 10 as the overall business manager if you're just looking to find products you can just directly go into your tools section go into black box so you're going to see it on the top over here and black box is one of their most popular tools as well and once you search for that you're just going to go into categories now this is the important section on helium 10 when you're doing product research we want to find products in a certain category if you're already dead set on a category you can do that but if you're not that's fine then you want to go on to your monthly revenue and you want a minimum monthly revenue of ten thousand dollars so you're just going to add that over here into the minimum section after that, you're going to add your price and the price for a product needs to be at least over $10. And the reason that I'm saying that it should be over $10 is that if you choose smaller products, then you're going to have some issues with shipping and fees. And that's going to be very inconvenient for you to actually ship that product. And it might actually end up costing more than it's worth. So you want a price of a minimum $10. Now, the maximum price depends on the overall budget you have for your business. So it can go upwards to a thousand or two thousand dollar products, but it depends on what kind of business you're looking to run. I would set the maximum at a thousand dollars because I don't want my products to be too expensive but i don't want them exactly to be cheap either next up you have your review count and you want a minimum of 15 reviews so that's going to give you a good idea of what kind of product that is and how you can sell this product as a better product and market it better then you have your review rating and you want a maximum review rating of four and the reason that i add four and you might be wondering why would i want a maximum review rating of four is because if a product has a five star rating it means they're already selling the perfect product. That product does not need any improvement. And if you're looking at four-star products, there's probably like one or two things you could improve in the product and start reselling or rebranding and remarketing to make more money. Now, next up, you have your variation count. And in most situations, I would suggest that keep your variation count as low as you can. I would set it at three. So these are the advanced filters. You're just going to click over here on the right, and this is going to drop down. Then you're going to add these advanced filters as well. So you're going to add a variation count of three. And I wouldn't suggest going over three because that becomes a bit difficult to ship and manage. Next up, you have your number of images. Now, I would suggest go with a maximum of five. And the reason for that is Amazon is allowing you to add seven images. And if someone is adding five, they're missing out two spots. And if they are missing out two spots, you could fulfill those two spots for that product and resell that product for a higher price. Now, you also have many other filters like the wait for a product if you are concerned with that, the number of sellers, the best sales period, the sales change, the price change, and overall sales. It's not very essential to add these fields. I usually exclude them. They're not very essential. But once you have filled out these two fields, you're just going to click on search over here. Now, once you have clicked on search, you can see over here that it has found me over 200 products and it's asking me to add additional filters for a more targeted search. Now, the reason that I don't add additional filters is that I'm not someone that has already established a brand. If you have established a brand, make sure to select the category. And I cannot emphasize this enough. If you're running a clothing brand, you want to make sure you're selecting 
apparel as your category if you're starting out a toy brand you want to select the category but if you don't have any brand in mind if you're searching without any kind of business plan yet and you're just taking a look at the product and browsing through then this is going to be a good way to search as well now once you have taken a look at the search you're going to see all of these things so first off you have the number of sellers which is the most important thing if it has a lot of sellers it means it's going to be a difficult field to enter if it has low sellers then it means you can definitely opt for that field and after that the most important thing you need to view is the sales trend now you're going to see the sales trend below any product so it's all right if in the past 90 days the sales trend has dropped by one two or three percent but the overall sales trend over the year needs to be high and this is very essential so for most of these products the sales trend is going up but you can see over here for this product the sales trend has gone down so you want to make sure you don't go for a product like that even though you might think oh this product has a monthly revenue of twenty thousand dollars it's still not selling anymore so you're not going to be able to make these kinds of figures with a product like this so you're just going to scroll around and you can see that there are many different products now i actually like one of the top products over here this shirt and you can see it looks very much like a aliexpress listing i'm pretty sure you can easily find this on aliexpress so once you have decided on a product you can pin it over here and add it to your list on helium 10 but i would actually recommend that you go on over to amazon and you search for this product so just go on amazon search for this product and also go on alibaba or aliexpress whichever one you prefer definitely go on alibaba if you're looking for the best price and search it on both of these platforms so you can see over here that this is the shirt that I was talking about. And if I click on the listing over here, which is selling for $30, you can see there's a good description. And you're just going to go into the review section and see what kind of issues people are having with the product. So you're going to go into their ratings and you're going to see what is something that people are cutting out. So you can see this person says Excel fits like a medium or something like that. It's very tight. It's not too bad. You should size down. But you can see over here, the sizing is the customer complaint. So what you're going to do is once you add the listing for your business of the same product, you're going to add a for disclaimer in the product description on the first line. So instead of adding button closure over here, you're going to add fits around small order size up or you're going to add like a larger disclaimer over here. That That's not just a fit over here. You're going to add something that is going to catch the customer's eyes so they know what size to order. Now to source your product, you're going to go on to Alibaba, paste your search over here, and we're just going to cut out some words like this. So I can't find the exact product right now, but there's also the thing where you can just download the image. So you can download an image and then search it over here as well. But we're going to cut out some of these words. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it over here. And I'm going to search again. And now you can definitely find the same product. It's not going to be that hard. It's going to take you a couple of searches to find something exactly the same. So you can see I found this shirt, which is just that shirt in black. So you're going to find it in white soon enough. And after you have found the product, you're going to be able to actually even see the difference in the prices on Amazon versus the prices on Alibaba. So over here that if you order over a hundred pieces, you're going to get it for $9.90. And on Amazon, people are selling these for a minimum of $25. So these people are making $15 in profits and you can do the same with your Helium 10 tool. Find your products, search them on Amazon, take a look at what their listing is lacking, find the product on Alibaba and start reselling. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to find winning products on the Helium 10 black box tool. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.